All right, we got some not so straight ahead circumference and area type problems. Here we got given the circumference of a circle is 28 pi, find the area of the circle. So you're given the circumference, you want to find the area. First off, I think we're going to want to have ourselves a nice little circle here. I'm even going to do the ink to shape. Whoop, boom. Look at that perfect circle. I'll teach you one day how to do that. All right, so here's my center. Now the circumference of the circle is 28 pi. So circumference formula, maybe we should jot that down, is 2 times pi times the radius or it's pi times diameter, right? Um, what's my area formula? My area is pi times the radius squared. So it looks like I need to find the radius if I'm gonna find the area of the circle, right? Okay, so I'm gonna be using this formula right here. So let's take our 28 pi and set that equal to the two pi times the radius, cool? Now, I'm gonna solve for r so I can use that in my area formula of a circle. Uh, well, if I divide by pi, those pi's actually just cancel out, right? Pew, gone. I'd also divide by two, and now I'm gonna get 14 for my radius. And you might've been thinking, oh, if the circumference is 28 pi, half of 28 is 14, that's my radius. Awesome, that's fantastic. All right, so we've got our radius, now we need to find our area. Turns out, didn't need my perfect circle. Hey man, sometimes I just wanna draw things, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna take this stuff and scooch it over. All right, and now let's find our area. My area formula, pi times the radius, 14 squared. 14 squared, if you do it in your cabeza, in your head there, we're gonna have 196 pi for my area. Units squared, whatever those units would be, 196 pi. Oftentimes we're gonna be asked to leave things in terms of pi, so that way we have like nice integers with just a pi chilling at the end, all right? Can we go the other direction? Let's see here. Given the area of a circle is 121 pi, find the circumference. Well, now I'm taking that area formula, which is pi times the radius squared, and I'm gonna take the 121 pi and set that equal to pi times my radius squared. So once again, my pi's are going to cancel, whether we divide on both sides with that, or we can also just see that, right? They're gonna end up canceling each other out. And I'm left with 121 r squared, or equals r squared. How the heck do I get r if it's r squared? Well, undoing squaring, that's square rooting. So I would square root on both sides and r is gonna equal 11. When you square root on both sides and solve, you actually do get a plus or minus 11, but obviously our radius can't be negative, so we're only gonna deal with the positive. So what's my circumference? Now I need my circumference formula and we'll do with the two pi r. We'll use that one, right? Because we've got our radius. So that means I'm gonna have two pi times 11, so I will have 22 pi. There's my circumference. Woo! That was awesome. That was fantastic. American Freedom Rock and Roll Costco. Riverdog J. Nathan Graham. See you.